in this video we get into a new um, chapter and all this chapter will be about divisibility in integral domains. I'm going to use ID all the time for integral domains. Uh, please do not forget we are talking about divisibility but in this series of videos it will be forced on integral domains. Okay, so we get directly into the concept of associates, irreducibles and primes. So uh, we are going to see the definition. So if you have an element A and an element B, both in an integral domain, they are called um, associates if A equals U B. And of course U will be a unit okay of the domain or the ring. Okay, so that's the concept of associate. So we um, we we call these two elements A and B associates if this happens. If A is the a factor of B, B of course in integral domain two, by a unit of the domain. Now, um, a element A, of course a non-zero, okay? A non-zero element in a domain is called irreducible um, if A is not a unit um, and you have B, B and C in the domain with A equals BC. So A a non-zero element and a non-unit element, okay. Uh, when this non-zero, non-unit element in a domain uh, equals uh, the factor of B and C, two other elements in the domain, uh, it's called irreducible if uh, B or C is a unit. Okay, and uh, I'm going to write all this, but first I'm just giving a, a quick idea. What about a prime? So a non zero, A is not zero, and A is in the domain. Okay. Is, we are going to A is A prime A is a prime if A is not a unit not a unit and you have if A divides BC this implies that either A divides B or a divides C. So in an integral domain that's what prime means. A, a non-zero element in the domain, is a prime if it is not a unit, of course. And if A divides BC, it implies that either A divides B or A divides C. And of course um, uh, B and C are also uh, elements in the domain. Okay, so a quick revision will be elements A and B in an integral domain are called associates if A equals a unit times B. Okay, so where U is a unit in D. 
if a equals a factor of a unit and b, we say that elements a and b are associates. Okay, now we get we we recheck the concept of irreducible, a non-zero element a of an integral domain is called irreducible if a element is not a unit and if a equals bc this implies that either b or c is a unit okay this is a very important concept in integral domains a non-zero element a of an integral domain is called a prime a prime in an integral domain of course the concept here is a bit different if a is not a unit and if a divides bc either a divides b or a divides c uh, 